Did we make the right decision? What if we made the wrong choices? Is it gonna look good? Is it gonna look bad? What if we hate it? Are we gonna have to move? What if it takes a year? I'm worried. We are updating our kitchen and dining room and we're gonna take you along with us. In our first vlog, we are gonna take a look at what we're doing to get ready for the process. We're gonna show you where we're at and we're gonna give you an idea of where we're going. So just sit back, relax, and come along for the ride. Now, we have thought about moving, but repeated visits on Zillow and Redfin just haven't been successful. Either there's not enough inventory, or the houses are out of our price range, or we just haven't seen anything that's been special enough to make us wanna move. So we thought instead of moving, we'd update our dated home and turn it into something that's more in line with who we are now. Our home is a renovated 1942 Cape Cod located outside the Washington DC area in Northern Virginia. When we first moved in, everything was beautiful. Our kitchen had black soapstone countertops and cherry cabinets. The ceilings had canned lights and in the dining room, there was this chandelier with cows and chickens and I just thought it was so charming. But fast forward now, nearly 20 years later, and things just aren't looking as good as they were before. What I see now is a kitchen that's cluttered. I see floors that have seen wear and tear brought on by three cats and one dog over the many years we have been here. And I see an outdated design that is no longer serving our purposes. Not to mention all the things that are stuffed inside of cabinets that were placed there back when we moved in long, long ago. And that charming farmhouse chandelier, it's not so charming anymore. But before demo starts in five days, I'm gonna take you through the space and show you where we're coming from and where we're hoping to go. So cue montage. So all houses have junk doors, right? Well, we have two. Not gonna lie, I do have some concerns going into our kitchen renovation. I just don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't know if we're making the right decision. I don't know if we're throwing, you know, like nearly $100,000 out the window. I just, I don't know and I've got concerns. And I'm thinking these feelings are just pretty normal for anybody going through a renovation. But, you know, I'm gonna really, really try hard to trust the process, trust our team, and just know that we can't just stay in the status quo. We do have to move forward. And these changes are, in the end, they're gonna be really, really good for us. So just trust the process and everything will be fine. We paired up with Slate Design and Remodel, a full service studio in Chantilly, and met with their team to determine next steps. We decided to keep the overall structure of the kitchen because knocking down walls would turn this into a massive project which we didn't want. Instead, we decided to expand the kitchen into the dining room by continuing the countertop and cabinets. This would give us the extra space that we needed and nearly double the size of one half of the kitchen. We also plan on removing the chair rail, this extra trim along the pony walls, and we'll install two new pendant lights above our new table. To create a cozy space to eat and work, we're moving the dining room table and replacing it with a banquette that'll run from the new cabinet over to the second window. This built-in will feature four drawers and two outlets in the toe kick, giving us plenty of options to charge our laptops. We'll also replace two cabinets on the opposite wall with a new sideboard, and we will add wood shelving above that sideboard to display any of our special items. And we'll give the space that special feeling by adding a tile wall accent above the sideboard. Once the structure was set, we met with our designer, Shannon, to get down to details. We answered questions, sent to our Pinterest board, and set a meeting for a design review, where we were shown a variety of options ranging from cabinet door style and colors to poles, fixtures, and countertop samples. She also sent us PDFs along the way to help us with the decision-making process and to inform us of where we were in the process. We settled on the Metropolitan Cabinets in City Loft and North Star. The cabinets will feature soft closing doors and drawers, under cabinet lighting, and poles for easy access. We'll replace the black countertops with a lightly veined marble granite, update the overhead lighting in the dining room, and add two matte black pendant lights to hang above the banquette table. Finally, we'll refinish the floors throughout the house with a light stain. We then met up at Architeza to look at tile for a backsplash and wall accent. 
This was so much fun, but we had to remember what we were designing for and not jump off into some crazy style when the rest of the house doesn't match that vibe. We also had to keep the actual space in mind. Our kitchen doesn't have a lot of room for a backsplash, so anything bold would really stand out. In the end, we went with Lunata Bay tile in Sinju in white with a varying texture. This would keep the light and airy feeling we were after. The next item on our list was selecting a table and sideboard. And as you know, shopping for furniture is a big deal. These pieces are expensive and you want to make sure that you're getting the right pieces that are going to fit your style, fit your space, and fit what you need. My answer to getting it right was to create a mood board. Now this part of the process was really fun. This is where you get to kind of go shopping, grab all your pictures of all your favorite pieces, then put them together in a mood board to help you make a final decision. I had about 13 pages in my mood board and that included everything from table and sideboards to chairs and rugs. And I sourced my pictures from West Elm, Crate and Barrel, Room and Board, Article, all sorts of different places. The great thing about mood boarding is you can come up with so many different looks and feels. And one of the looks I had included a beautiful table from Anthropology with a nice cream rug, but unfortunately it just wasn't gonna fit our space, but it was still super pretty. Once we had our selections made, it was time to head downtown to see the pizzas in person. Now this is really important because you wanna be able to sit in the chair that you're gonna buy to make sure it is comfortable. And you wanna see the table up close and personal so you can get a feel for what it will actually look like. Our designer Shannon came over one more time to take a look at our mood boards, make our final paint selections and grout color selections. The general contractor was also there to answer any questions we might have had. We had our demo date set, now all we had to do was pack the kitchen. Just pack the kitchen. Demo would begin immediately to allow other contractors to come in for rough-ins, such as electric and gas. They were also going to install zip walls between the kitchen and dining room and the rest of the house to keep out dust and to help keep our pets safe. Work would begin at 8 a.m. and end at 6 p.m., roughly given the plan for the day. And we were also asked to keep our driveway clear so they can move in a dumpster. Good morning, it is day two of packing up our kitchen for the reno and we have learned some lessons the hard way. First of all, you always need more boxes. Lesson number two. Can't have too many. Exactly. Lesson number two, do not buy your boxes from like a UPS or something. Go to Home Depot or Lowe's where they are much cheaper. We learned that lesson the hard way. Lesson number three, you have more stuff than you think you do. You really do. Lesson number four, eventually all organization goes out the window and you just start shoving it in boxes because you got a deadline to meet. And our deadline is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning when they're gonna be here and they're gonna start their work. So we've got work to do, let's go. The kitchen and dining room are empty and ready for renovation. Let's just take you through it. Mm -hmm. 